Let me show you one of the very best ways to start making money fast in Star Citizen as a new player. I'm going to show you where you can loot all the weapons, armor, and medical supplies you will ever need without firing a single shot. This can be done in any noob ship that can hold a tiny bit of cargo. I'm going to show you my very favorite place to farm in Microtech. We'll be hitting up the moon Euterpe. From there, we're going to head to a place called Bud's Growery. This place does not have an armistice zone. When you get here, you will always want to land to the right side of the door and kind of wedge the very front of your ship into the front of the building there. It's important because it gets windy. Also, cut off your engines or your ship will blow away. When farming these no armistice zones, just show up with a flight suit and free helmet. You're not going to be risking anything. Once inside, there'll be three different types of crates you'll be wanting to loot. This is one of them right here. This is a medical crate. I'm going to be looting these medical guns as a priority. They are worth quite a bit of money. This is one of the spawn locations. There's another one over there. Let's head into this back room here. This is where the majority of the loot likes to spawn. They're on that shelf right there. You can occasionally find drugs. Didn't find any this time. This is the first spawn location. These are the crates you're going to want to loot, guys. They have tons of guns. Yeah, needless to say, these red crates are absolutely glorious. They have a lot of sniper rifles and a lot of the high-end weapons that sell for quite a bit on the benders. Okay, let's go to the back part of the room here. There is another red crate. This is spawn location number two. Again, we have more weapons. Sometimes you can even get armor in these crates. The biggest thing you're going to notice as I'm looting, I'm looting absolutely everything into the local. That way I can't possibly lose anything upon death. All right, let's check this side. There's a spawn location to the right of where I'm standing there. Generally a spawn location right where I'm standing now. All right, nothing's in here. Seems we have cleaned this entire room out of loot. Let's head to the next room and check and see what we can find in there. Generally, I loot this room here first. There are a couple spawn locations, one on the bed, one right in front of me. Here's another medical crate. You will never need to buy a medical gun, med stick, or oxypen anymore because you're going to be totally set when you loot these places like I'm doing right now. This room here generally sucks. It only has one spawn location, which is right there. If you don't see anything there, then there's nothing in the room as you can see. Yep, absolutely nothing. This concludes our very first run, but wait, there's more. Um, yeah, we seem to be having a little bit of a wind problem today. Once you get back inside your ship, it's as simple as finding your bed. You're just going to lay down in it. Once you do, you're going to log out. This is going to send you back to the main menus. Once you are back to the main menus, you're going to want to do a region hop. Generally, I'll just hop back between the EU and the USA. Once you are back in the game, take off just a little bit so you can put your landing gear down. By default, your landing gear will not be down. Most definitely turn off your engines and make sure your ship isn't moving. Make sure you wedge your ship to the right side of the stairs like I originally showed you, because if you didn't and you log back in, there's a good chance that you are now blowing across the surface of the moon trying to get your engines turned on. Let's do one more run for posterity. You are definitely going to be looting, logging out, logging back in, looting, logging out, logging back in. You're going to be doing that a whole bunch of times. I think at this time I'm on reload 7 or 8. I mean, I haven't really been keeping track, but I haven't been doing this all that long. Darn it, no drugs? Daggone it, there's no drugs. All right, nothing in spawn one, nothing in spawn two. Looky there, some drugs. I guess I'll pass on that. You can loot them if you want to. Here's another one of these small boxes you can loot. They generally contain multi-tools, knives, things like that. Just to give you an idea, when I'm looting these places, I'll almost always find at least one to three of the red crates, multiples of the medical crates, and rarely I find these small crates, although I did find two on this run. Not going to bother looting multi-tools anymore because I got piles of them. Yeah, basically in a nutshell, we got completely shafted in this back room where most of the loot spawns, so chances are there's going to be some Dagon loot crates in this room or the next one. And there we go, there's another red crate. Cha-ching! The red crates are most definitely where you'll be making the majority of your money at by looting all the weapons and armor. Now, if you're just trying to make money, don't bother looting all the Dagon ammunition because really it only sells for like three or five bucks each. It's not worth it. But if you're going to use it for your own personal needs, then you're good to go. I'm thinking about loading up what I've gotten from these seven or eight trips back to town. Right now it's all in the local. Look how disgusting the amount of stuff I have here. This is only page one. Got another full page here of nothing but a whole bunch of weapons, armor, everything that we've been looting in these places, tons of med guns, sticks, everything you could ever want, but that's only page two. Go check page three. 
All kinds of loot there. My goodness, it looks like there's even a page four. This is absolutely, completely, and totally disgusting. Since I've only reloaded about seven or eight times now. Back in the ship, it is now time to load everything up from the local into my ship's inventory. This is your most vulnerable moment at any time. If anyone swoops in and blows up your ship while you're doing this, well, you're going to lose everything that you had in your ship, so keep that in mind. I highly recommend that you hop into your pilot's seat and really quickly check your radar before you do this step just to make sure that there are no ships around you. Then complete this task as fast as you possibly can. Perhaps you didn't have to be as greedy as I was and loot absolutely every daggone thing in the universe before making this video. Just to show you how much crap you can get, maybe do some trips before you get this much loot so you don't, you know, lose everything if someone happens to come in and gank you really fast. Once you have everything loaded up, break your neck as fast as you can, head over to Mick L1. Once you have landed your ship at Mick L1, this is going to be the most exciting gameplay that Star Citizen has to offer you. Transferring all of your daggone loot from your vehicle to the local inventory. Yep, yep, all kinds of fun. You have to do it one at a time. But if you're a complete and total noob and you're broke and you're new to Star Citizen, you will most definitely not mind transferring all this stuff one item at a time because you are going to make so much freaking money, more than you're going to make by taking missions. Yeah, I still had a couple more pages of things to transfer. Not going to put you through that. Let's get to it. Our very first stop will be the pharmacist terminal where we can sell all of those med guns for 706 each and they want to buy ammo too, which is weird. Head over to the main elevator near the hospital. We are going to be hitting up the Galleria. Take the stairs up to the second level and look for the weapon shop. Now I basically plan on keeping every single one of the weapons that I've looted for my own personal gameplay, but as you can see, these weapons are worth quite a bit. Some are worth a heck of a lot more than others but there are going to be plenty for you to loot where I showed you. Next, locate the armor shop. Once you find the armor terminal, hit up the sell tab. You're going to notice that a lot of this light and medium armor stuff doesn't sell for a lot of money. Some of it is definitely worth more than others. I say loot it all if you're a noob. Now that I've given one of my favorite locations away, let me show you a few others that you might want to try, because once this video comes out, everybody and their brother is going to do this. All right, head over to Daymar. Bountiful Harvest is really good. Next place you'll want to check is on selling in the Crusader system as well. Terra Mills kind of sucks a little bit. I was actually surprised. Place you'll want to go though is Gillette Family Farms. It's actually really good. Surprisingly enough, Tram and Myers also sucked. There are even more places to do this. I'm not going to name them, but ultimately if the place sells alcohol, it's a really good chance that you're going to be able to find firearms and armor there. Hope you enjoyed the video.